How hard is it? Flipping neck. I mean, putting a number on a route like that is pretty hard work. Uh, James gave it 9 here. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it for a minute. The interesting thing I think about the meltdown is that it became famous even before it actually was climbed. It was, it was famous for being a project and it was uh, a Johnny Dawes project from the 80s. Yeah, I mean, Johnny had amazing vision. That's really what stood out with Johnny. He, he, could, he could see potential routes where people just wouldn't see them. And this is a classic example. He saw this line, which is so hard and it's so much ahead of its time at the time. And he, he saw this and he, he plugged away and, you know, he got pretty close. So when the meltdown was first bolted up by Johnny in the 80s, uh, the hardest route in the world just been done 8C out in Bukes by Ben Moon. Jerry Moffat was knocking on that grade as well. And they actually came and tried the route at the same time that Johnny was doing it. And they could barely do any of the individual moves. And Johnny was already making quite big links on it. So it kind of showed that this really was kind of Johnny's world, the ultra, ultra technical slab, that he was a sort of master of it. Well, it's looking like a world of no holds. There was two main features that really stood out for me. One was the amount of rubber I could see on his foot, meaning that there was barely any in connection with the wall. We're talking maybe like two mil. And the other one was just the amount of shine that we got from, from the daylight off the slab. It literally looked like he was trying to ascend marble. I think the meltdown, that only certain people can climb that. They have to have the kind of finger strength and physical abilities of the top sport climbers, but they've also got to be all round, complete climbers with a real kind of imaginative technical trad background. And there's not many people actually have got both those things. So Johnny definitely had that. James McAfee's got that and he made the first ascent. And I think, you know, Steve's been trying it today and uh, he's, an, he's one of the few other people who've got those both of those abilities. I mean, Slate is totally unique because of the type of friction you get, which is really, really hard to find. You've got this climbing style, which is very much, you have to use the holds that you've got, you can't really use where there's no holds. So that classic padding up the wall thing on other rocks, you can't really do it here. So you can have slabs that are so physical and so muscular tension, and it's all about just keeping on moving, that really is the crux of it. The moves are desperate, but between the moves you can kind of have a little break, but if you try and rest there, you'll just sag and then you're out of there. For me personally, I'm, I'm quite pleased with myself because the, the conditions are rubbish, but I still managed to do you know, reasonable progress, managed to do every move apart from one. Uh, a couple of moves were pretty marginal, you know, it's, it's left me thinking, well, that would be hard on the link. But to, to manage to do that well on the first go, it's pretty good. You know, it's, it's the hardest slab in the world, potentially, and I don't expect to climb anywhere near as hard as that in even a couple of days. You know, I expect it to be lots of days of effort. So first day, good, pretty happy. Ah, oh, and that's that. Piece of cake.